Welcome back guys. Today's video is from Christine who says thanks so much for the awesome tutorial. You've been such a great help. As it is, I've completed building my site on the parent theme with the Sydney theme. With that in mind, would you kindly show me how to go about creating a child theme with a video tutorial? Now, while we do have a video for child themes and how to make them in a couple different ways, which I'll link to you in the section beneath the video, I want to stop and tell everyone that if you're just making changes to the CSS, in other words, if you're going to add a style.css file to a child theme, then you're better off using a custom CSS plugin. So let's see what I mean. Here we are on the demo site for the Sydney theme. Once we log ourselves in, we can hover on appearance and click custom CSS. Now this window operates like a child theme. This is just like the style.css file in your child theme because you can make changes, they'll affect the parent theme and the homepage, and then when you update your software, that little window we were just looking at will stay unchanged. That's what happens when you use a custom CSS plugin. It's a really quick fix and you don't have to rely on a whole new set of theme folders in a child theme. The reason I prefer a custom CSS plugin is because it operates quicker. When the internet accesses your WordPress site, it wants to go through as little folders as possible. If you have a child theme, it's a lot more folders. This little file operates quicker because it's inside your plugins folder and not inside another themes folder. To get a custom CSS window like this, you just have to go to plugins, click add new, and then the one I recommend right now is called Theme Junkie CSS. You can just look up TJ CSS and you'll find the right one right here. You could also use Site Origin CSS though, which I believe comes with that visual editor still. This will save you time because you won't have to do all the steps to create a child theme. And like you might have guessed, it is a few extra steps. I'm all about saving you time. I literally lose sleep over thinking up better ways to get you guys the right information and better ways to create existing tutorials. And I don't know why all the existing WordPress resources still recommend a child theme. It could be because they haven't spent the time to update them in several years. But all I know is I have great success on my WordPress sites, hardly ever using a child theme, including my main blog, Dear Blogger, which has many, many changes to the CSS and the design and the overall structure of the theme without using a child theme. Now, as Christine said, she had almost completed building her site on the parent theme, which led me to believe she didn't hack up the entire parent theme and change all the theme files. If you did want to hack up that parent theme and change up the functions file and other major files, then you might want to use a child theme because obviously an update would overwrite those changes. But if you're almost done with your site and you just want to make a few changes, it is definitely advantageous to just use a custom CSS plugin. Some themes don't even work with the child theme. For example, I've worked with themes that have features so complex that if you install a child theme, a lot of those features just break and you'll be left wondering why they broke. Maybe it's because WordPress just offered the generic advice of having to install a child theme. So like I said, I'll leave you guys a link below on how to set up a child theme if you want but I really do recommend going with the custom CSS route if you can. All right, I'm sorry if this video is more of a rant than a tutorial, but I hope that helps you save time when you're considering using a child theme or not. Thanks so much to Christine for asking the question that inspired this video. Please make sure to subscribe so that you get the answers to your questions if you're featured, as well as all the latest in WordPress how-to tips. Thanks so much for watching because I really enjoyed making this for you guys, and I'll see you next time.